no hate on your regime here, but this is starting to look like an EPA problem. Who's who's your cleanup team? Who, who's uh? We asked Levy to clean up, but she refused. Yeah, she She's kind of uncooperative. That's why she got arrested again. For a fanboy body. You know how I voted on uh, who's going to clean up the throw up? We'll vote the same way again. Anonymous vote. Yeah. Got me voting for Levy. Yeah, we all know who we're voting. What's up? Anonymous now. Huh? Simon is the best person who's been treated the worst best comedian, best load. I'm sorry for bringing that up. That no, it's perfectly, no, it's perfectly fine. You need to take care of it anyway. It's just Just know I'll keep an eye out, all right? Okay. The BBC Black Gay Board is such a question. You literally be all of them. Please don't bring it up. Don't bring it up in front of everybody. Fuck you, that's right. It's, no, for real, it's, I think she's self-conscious about it. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't think she knows it. Yeah. So. the gay Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. okay. I was just joking. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, is she coming down from this time now? Yeah, she's just okay. so quick. Cool. She's doing what? You got to get to this thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Just take it. All right. And she's your responsibility now? Yeah. Okay, cool. You can handle it. Mm-hmm. You know what to do. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, shit. I ship y'all. Hmm? I ship you guys. Yeah, yeah, someone fucking said that up there over there. Airsoft bloody. Cluddy. 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 I think that's what Cluddy sounds. Cluddy. Cluddy. Like Cluddy relationship or something like that. Well, I mean, all jokes aside, I think she does need a friend. Yo, Jet, it's Dylan Adams. What's up, you lazy sack of shit? I'm gonna boom the camera. Sylvia Hawk, most the hard worker will stay. Yeah, I don't have much about this from the master. So, who are we voting for anonymously? Yeah, vote anonymously. Y'all want to do a piece of paper? What does tell you, Levy? Yeah, we're... I'm all voting for Levy. Go, Frank. The night of the day, 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 the night of the day. Ah, fuck you, man. I am whoever, got the whisper in my ear if y'all want to say, oh, no, I would not be. Levy. Maybe, Frank. Three for Levy. Well, you, Josie. You can wish. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> she well, was in our head. Levy, they just told them to vote for you. Who's going to clean this bus up? You're, you're betraying, you're betraying the president right now. Just think oh, yeah. about that. Uh, you know that you're, 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 you're violating the Geneva Most people are voting for president. you to clean up the mess. I didn't make it. But they voted for you to clean it up, so I guess they don't like you. But Chris is about to do a stand up and you could clean up afterward, which gives you Wait, a this isn't law though. She doesn't have to follow it. No, she does. I'm the president. Chris, you're edging very close into sedition territory right Chris, now. Chris, you are a switching team, buddy. Nope, still the same team, still your defense ministry. Okay. I'm just trying to help keep you out of hot water. Keep me what? out of hot water? Yes, Mr. Biden. We don't want you going to war with Russia. Why? Are you Russia? No. Yeah, who's Russia? Who's Russia? Letty's Russia? No. That's what you just said. Yeah. Well, no, they all voted. I just did a vote. So what's your so, vote? Just the, pre- the president can vote. But I'm not voting. I make it democratic. My vote is too powerful. Yeah. You yeah. can influence everybody else. Yeah. Just how I voted to clean up the, the door. So, I'm democratic. All right. Yeah. Sylvia lose the gut, you hog. Right. Yeah, that's funny. She doesn't have much of a gut. So let me know when you're ready to do this stand up. Yeah, I'm about to Jenny Letty, clean it up, do it for free. Can we turn off TTS for the stand up? Watch this, TTS. You're in for a treat. Fuck you guys, you're all broke and lame. My boy Chris <laughs> is about to do some stand up comedy. Spend $20 to see you. Once you get out of here, book him for some comedy shows. So, mm-hmm. I think we're going to start this simple, all right? All right. We're going to pull from something I used to do back in the day. Back when I was a wee lad. I did a little something back when I was just a lad. I <laughs> used to talk to Mary Puff and she was kind of glad. Anyhow, this is a bit about... The time us boys. So I'm just kind of curious about what's going on now and there. Someone's waking up and like, yeah, I don't know, I'm just standing in attention. I'm just going to leave it in there. Anyhow, 
We did a lot of stupid shit back then, right? A lot. We did a lot of stupid shit back then. I know Vance knows about it. I know Frank knows about it. All us guys here know about how weird the guy's bathroom is. Ladies, I don't know how it gets in there. I've heard some pretty nice stories. and Y'all got the heated toilet seats. Y'all got the nice scented candles in there. It's always looking clean because the janitor takes extra good care. It's okay. Those guys can take it. We don't look worse. That being said, there's one devious fucking thing we used to do as little kids. And quite simply, we had fun in the same way. We had the tools in our stuff. Soap, towels, all the paper, sometimes we found condoms. Any way you put it, we found a way to get more messy than a couple of urban front guys, okay? Now, I go in there one day, first time doing this kind of thing. I walk in there, see a bunch of guys up around, and I'm saying to myself, gee, I wonder what's going on over there. Here's someone being like, oh god, yes. Some are like, oh yeah, you did it, but you hit the spot. And I'm sitting there thinking, what the hell could be going on over there? We're just little kids now. Start walking up and realize, I must have understanding that attention now. So I'm walking over, okay. <laughs> what the fuck's happening over here now? There's some really good energy over here. I walk over, I'm thinking, oh, this is about to be so much fun. And what do I see? A bunch of fucking fourth grade boys with a bunch of toilet paper in their hands. And every toilet paper is supplement. And as soon as I pull up, what do they do? They all start smacking me in the face. Shit. I go back in there, take my skull. This is fucking what at this point. Y'all just fucking ganged up on me and threw your big old white balls in my face. Did I forget to mention my school was in a rough neighborhood? That being said, it was kind of weird. Get in the stall, take my shit. What happens? Another guy pops up. Over the stall, smack me with his big white balls. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, what the fuck did I get myself into? This is school, right? Sure as hell, I decided to do one thing I could. I grabbed me my big white balls. I grew up there. You know, I, I get, you know, right now I'm ready to go and I grab. And I pull that toilet paper and dump it into the toilet. I ball it up, and I take the big white ball, I make it a second one. So I have big white <laughs> balls in my hand. And I just like that. Nail one. <laughs> Nail two on the face. Fucking walk out. Next thing you know, boys are coming out that room, balls in their fucking hands, ready to go, bouncing all around. They're chucking through the fucking hallway. And I'm bobbing and weaving. Next thing you know, bam, who do I run into? My crush. And I've got two big wet white balls in my hand as I run under her. And let me tell you, it's pretty embarrassing to get caught with your balls in your hand with your crush when you're in fourth grade. So how do you explain that, right? How do you, how do you explain that? You know, I'm just going to go on the school with the balls in my hand. Oh, crazy. Just a guy, a big guy. Needless to say, that was the start of the Wilson Academy War of the Wet White Balls. 2005. Hearts broken. A lot of children miss opportunities. 
a lot of balls were thrown in my face. Um, some of them white, some of them black, some of them brown. Yellow. But it was ball, surprisingly enough. <laughs> Anyhow, I was balls galore in my face every day. And for a whole year, boys were throwing balls at each other, giving each other their balls in each other's faces until finally, one day the principal comes on the end. Alright, boys, thank you for uh, taking me here to listen here. I need everybody here in the school to listen. Uh, you should have a club, an epidemic of boys' balls just being thrown everywhere. And I'm sitting there screaming, going, because we're going to have to put security guards at every boys' bathroom to make sure one of you guys are carrying because they're boys' balls. So you start putting security guards in every room. Sadly, yeah. I was done receiving the balls to my face. That era of my life is done. I'm reformed now. And, uh, oh no, I guess my mom's not mad at me about it because she doesn't it's not on her face. <laughs> uh, let's just say I left that school with a new thought of life. A bigger, ballsier thought of life. <laughs> All of us guys got that kind of story. Oh, yeah. You get a nice young lady over, you <laughs> swoon her. My first girlfriend, she's sweet in that. Call her M. M is beautiful, smart, intelligent. She has everything in between. One thing she also was was confident in herself. She wanted something, she's going to go for it. So after about two months of dating, I was sitting there one night wondering something, I was not watching the movie, and she goes, so why haven't you fucked me? Just brand new looks, why haven't you fucked me? Like, the one I'm attracted to you? I said, what do you mean? She goes, I want you to shake this fucking bed like you're Fred fucking Flintstone. I want you to yabba dabba fucking do me now. Why do you go to your mother and get a condom? I said, no, 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 we're not going to do that. She goes, fuck that. She goes, I'm so mad. Your boy is fucking stupid. He needs condoms. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, no. And the mom goes, to the what's going on? She goes, look, I know I'm young, but I'm trying to fuck my son. And he needs to get him a fucking condom because I'm not having me no kid. Oh, yeah. She was smart. First, I was nervous, you know, some guy would be. You don't want to go to your mother and get condoms. That's the last person you want to get your fucking condoms from. Because, like, sure, she knows your son is, but she knows your son is. So she says, All right, Christopher, come with me. She goes, Michelle, you stay here. Candles are in the bathroom. If you need anything else, let me know. I'll pick it up. So we and her all in 1998, four explorer. Green one with the shitty engine that knocks. And she goes, okay, we're gonna go up there. This is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna give you the money. And since I'm not your dad, he ain't here, you're gonna beat your comments. I look at her and say, what size do I get? She goes, well, think about it. How big do you think you are? And get that size. <laughs> I walk in there, Walgreens. Of course, it's fucking Walgreens. You have the largest like, the condoms anywhere. Yep. I walk in there, walking around, nervous and looking at different aisles for foods, thinking to myself, okay, what the hell can we get served in Africa? Anything to make the night better because very clearly she's a tiger, she knows what she fucking wants. <laughs> walking down the aisle and where am I going to find him? Holy shit. Even today, it's overwhelming. It's all the options. People got glow in the dark, you know? In case your girl doesn't have the best accuracy in the dark, your willy can glow and it'd be a nice target for her. <laughs> or if you happen to have a nice young man in your life, that too, I'm not gonna judge, you know. Everyone's their own person. They got ones that are ready for her pleasure, which what's the point of ready? Like if you can't fucking do the job, <laughs> I don't think putting lines in the condom <laughs> to like supposedly stimulate better is gonna do shit, okay? Then you've got so thin it's almost not there. Well, 
Hey, dumbass, just don't fucking wear it. It's that simple. Start looking around, thinking myself off. Jesus, great most guys, how big's my dick? And I'm just sitting there looking, and this old lady comes up, got a little cane, she walks up. Oh, honey, you bitch in action tonight. I look at her and I go, yeah, you should say that. She goes, oh, that's right, I guess that makes both of us. I look at her and I go, oh, shit, Grandma, you got lucky tonight? She goes, yep, I ate up here for an run some sleeping pills an hour ago. I said, oof, you think so? can take that? She goes, oh, that's the point of sleeping pills. I said, oh, so this isn't like a, a date night thing, is it? She goes, oh, no, it's a husband. I go, okay. I said, well, I'll probably never see you again. So, hi, thanks, Chris, and, uh, What's I'm doing to buy a gun? And she goes, Oh, what are you looking for? I said, I need someone that kind of fits. She goes, Oh, a long chick. <laughs> I look at her and go, Man, I'm like 15 years old. What are you talking about? She goes, Oh, long chick. I can have her with this shit. <laughs> so I take the game. She's like, You guys make games for me. She's not saying anything. So I take the game and I show her. And she goes, Oh, you got the classic. She goes, you're going to want these, the Asian branded condoms. They're just small enough for you. I looked at her and I said, so these are fit. She goes, yep, you hand one to her, she'll know exactly what to do if she's done this before. I said, neither of us have. She goes, oh, even better. It continues to pull my fucking pants down, I shit you not. I'm in this fucking store, pants between my legs. I'm instantly no I was like, man, what the fuck? She goes, I was I said I got a banana in my car, you can show me on for fuck's sake. She goes, oh my god. She goes, look, just hand it to her, she's gonna know exactly what to do. So of course, I said, fuck it. I said, thank you for showing me you care enough to try to follow my balls and the song, but I'm not looking for an older woman. I want some more my age. We were separated. I believe she bought like two different bad dragon dildos and a couple of different comic types. And my guess is her and her man had a little bit of a uh, back and forth rough mistake, but I mean, you know, I don't want to blow the hip out just yet, Muriel, okay? <laughs> Anyhow, I get home. I go to the girlfriend and I go, hey, just got back, got the arms, and uh, so oh, great, I'll check for one up, and we'll go a little pretty up. I said, well, um, not to be weird, but old lady at the store said, you gotta put it on. She goes, old lady with a cane? Yeah? She goes, sound like this? I said, yeah. She goes, well, that's my fucking mother. <laughs> now, imagine that. Now you go to your black girlfriend's family's house and you find out her father is a black man. Oh. And you find out real quickly, her mother may have tried to set you up. See what I did? I set him up. Would someone weigh out her? He was the same. That night was probably hmm, the 69th best fuck I've ever had. <laughs> but I guess I shouldn't call it fuck it. What is love me? Final one here. It's gonna go out to all the teachers out there who, you know, they give a crap. They care about you, right? Now, growing up, I want to two teachers in the middle I had one that was actually, she wasn't named after the school. The school wasn't named after her, she just went to know. But it was Mrs. Wilson. Now, she had a teacher's aide called Mr. B. And Mr. B, Real big. And he was black. He's a Vietnam vet. Real big dude. Fucking nice muscles. Real big voice. He can manhandle us for real. I guess boys got fucking crazy in that classroom. He can scoop you up, put you in his arms. Let me tell you something. You don't ever think you're ever gonna go gay, guys, but 
when you feel the embrace of a warm black man's chest and your fucking face, you're going to change a lot of things, man. Yeah. yeah. This first girl is pretty tough. Being a military man, he understood that there's tough love as we need to Something he would give out punishments or sentences. Give you out sentences. Let's say Frankie boy here throws a can and advances his head. That is 500 sentences, all done perfectly, not getting perfectly at third to fifth grade. I will not throw butt ends at Nancy's head. And you would have to do that during class, or you could choose to go to lunch. You during class, you have to get them done before the end of class, or none of those count. So let's say you do class, you work done, you get to 250, when the class comes up, you got 500 to do. Huh, you just wasted your fucking time. You still tear that up before you can go, you're back in zero. Kids, you know, it was real ass. But you came in at lunch, you didn't give a fuck how long it took you. You were taking time out of your time to do it, not during work time. That's my respect in mind. You made that all for himself. said, yeah, you're on your own time, I'll let you carry it over. One day, I decided to try and test it, just to see how ridiculous these sentences would get. Because I got plenty of sentences growing up. I've had probably close to half a million, to actually more than that, probably enough to word a whole dictionary in half, really. Anyhow, I decided I was going to do some stupid. I decided, fuck, I'm going to streak down the hallway, and I'm going to see if he really pushes for it. So I brought Trow into the hallway and started running. They forget to tell you that a military man runs pretty fucking fast. It's a lot faster than a little pudgy fat kid running down the hall with no pants on. Because he caught up to me, picked me up, and raced me in his arms. Kind of sweet. Touching my head. His eyes blank. Um, catch up to me, and I said, okay, I want to see you so far, Bush. Motherfucker hits me with 20,000 sentences off the bat. Now, mind you, you get over 1,000 sentences, you got to do some pretty fucked up. So, already, I'm like, okay, how bad was it running down the hallway naked? Well, as he's kind of carrying me back to my pants, this is not just going to let me go. Which I was kind of okay with. It was kind of nice here, you know, nice little hug. I start noticing as I get carried past the rooms, a lot of the female teachers are standing there, somehow an awful game. They don't understand. All they see is the yellow from Trump being carried away. Trust me, my pants, puts get him on me. He goes, You got 20,000 sentences. You better be on your lunch time because you're not going to earn class. I said, cool. Went in there, started doing some sentences. I got to like 500 before I finally just thought this. I'm just going to fuck around until the end. Because at that point, I'll just come in 500 at a time. I can probably have it in two years, no problem. I get him done. I walk up to him. I'm like, here you go. Here's, your, here's 500. I got to do more tomorrow. He looks at me and goes, nope. You're back at zero. Now mind, you're 45 minutes. 45 minutes for a kid in third, fourth grade. You finished 20,000 cents. Are you kidding me? 20,000. So I raised the argument to I said, you know, Mr. D, you're a big, beautiful black man. And you gotta understand that as a funny little white kid who's just pudgy. I'm not gonna be bald. I can't do this. It's physically impossible. You know what he said to me? You think that's impossible? Try, try, try hooking up with one of the teachers when you just got down running down the hallway naked. I said, what do you mean? He said, let's leave it like this. They're telling me I'm whiter than most of the kids here. That's right. I was affected his dominance. Yes, believe it or not, 
I had a bigger dick than that. This fucking big <laughs> black military veteran. A man gonna let me scoop you up, put your face on his chest, make you feel comforted, make you feel welcome, enjoy. Because now I'm my biggest enemy. I'll tell you what. After a little talk with one of the teachers one day, I got the inspiration. I know it was 20,000 now. I get him done. He says, it's impossible. I looked at him and said, yeah, just like it's impossible for you to get a date now. That was that. I never saw him again. I think that kind of cut him a little deep. Because when you're a big Roman black man, it's usually seen that you have a big swinging chicken between those legs. But uh, I guess my man was working with some little tiny that day. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> when a pudgy white boy can outbeat a giant, well built black man, you know it's a bad thing. I just hope we don't start going back to the 1800s because it's really bad. <laughs> Anyhow, in closing, don't piss off the teachers, people. Because though you might think you'll get away with it, though you might think you might win it, you never know what they're hiding. Love, my hatred. And it might be just 20,000 sentences that he's gonna demand you get done in 45 minutes. Make y'all have a good night. Woo! That's amazing. I miss you, Mr. Crisker! Hit me up some time and we'll go get some coffee. It's not like, coffee. I can tell you've been practicing, that's good. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On a different note, um, have you forgiven Sylvia? Because it's going to work out tonight for you. I'm making an exchange, Sylvia. Alright? I'm a reasonable guy. Mm-hmm. You do my laundry in the morning, you don't got to work out. I don't want to work out, it just needs to be like, you know, stuff I can do. Oh, she can do both, like pre order, can do both laundry, so yeah. Do yeah. Do both. Why not? She can do both. She can do both. She can do both. She can do both. Are you really afraid to do that work? No, well, I just so she can do the laundry too. Yeah, so you'll do the laundry workout. Yeah. Do you think you can do that workout that we did earlier? I said, yeah, I just can't lift the 30 pound thing. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm tired. No, my hands fucked out on metal rod and six screws in it. I can't lift this certain way. I did, I, did, I, did, I did say we had to take it easy on the legs. Let me finish. Okay. Let me cook. Let me cook. Okay. okay. I'm the chef. I'm cooking here. I'm tossing salads. Yeah. Let me toss my salads. I don't want her to patronize you either. No, 100%. Just let her go with it. She cannot say shit to me. Let me find me. Toss that like, salad, Chris. Okay. Toss that salad. Okay. I don't want to start an argument. Anyhow. Toss so, that salad. What if I give you, instead of weights, instead of risking those rods, you've got your hand, correct? Right? You've got rods in there? Yeah. You know what you're saying? What if I gave you the workout routine that our dear host, Mr. Doe, Mr. Doe, us, gave to me? He spoke with me, he gave me the routine, and surprisingly, it's not as taxing as this. A little bit more cardio. Alright, so a little more cardio than anything else. You talk about the gloves. I need the gloves for it. Are y'all finally gonna fight Bob's? Oh no, I don't have a second beer for it to use right now. But, at the least of the cardio. Yeah. What do you say? I, I just set up there. Alright. I can, I, can, I can, like, give her a 90% forgiveness there. Okay. There's still some things I think we need to talk about more on a different time where it's more serious going sober. Yeah. But, uh, I can, I can do a 90% forgiveness with that. I don't mind lifting weights, I just can't lift the 30 pounds. I think, honestly, just to kind of keep those rods safe, because I understand what it's like. I got mother, she's had that, I mother had that in her back. She couldn't lift too much, so don't feel bad. I understand, I'm not going to judge her for it. Well, you work hard. I'm going to judge her. Well, I mean, yeah, you're going to judge her, man, but, well, I mean, it seemed like it, right? It definitely seemed like, but I didn't really have rods in my hand at that time. I don't know. At that time, all I could perceive was what was in front of me. Right? It's like when you first meet a person, right? 
first meet a person, uh, we're going to go off <laughs> what you see in first, right? Are you going soft, Chris? No. Are you going soft on us? Yeah. First we meet Fanny Reddy, because she got all day to clean up. Yeah. 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 You voted for me to clean up. I don't care. Why don't you do the cleaning if she wants? For no, it's not. Are you going soft? Are you going soft? Are you going soft on us? No. Are you going soft on us? Are you going soft on us? No. Are you going soft on us? No. Are you going soft on us? No. Now, if Letty doesn't want to clean, she can be stuck in the bathroom with a whole bottle of fart spray just sprayed in there, okay? Okay. So, Letty, you can choose the vomit comment. Yeah, Or you can choose to do it either way. I don't think she's going to the trash. I don't think she's going to do it. What? I don't know how to do it for the trash, actually. All you have to do is this. That's it. This is enough. Yeah. This is good. I thought you were talking about something else. You can help her if you want to. What about the pee? Okay. Yeah, that's better. Are you kidding? <laughs> 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 I'm 